So we're going to take a look at another equation for a conic section that's not in standard form, and we're going to put it in standard form. So the first thing that I notice as I'm writing this equation out is that there is a number in front of the x and the y. So because there's a number in front of the x squared and the y squared term, I know this is not going to be a circle. This is going to be either an ellipse or a hyperbola. It doesn't change the process though. So my first step is going to be the same as it was before, and it's going to be to rewrite the x terms together, and we're going to have that blank, and then we're going to rewrite the y terms together, and we're going to have that blank so that we can work with um, copying it over, and then I'm going to take this 164 and I'm going to subtract it to move it to the other side so that it's not something I have to worry about. Now, there's a number in front of x squared, so completing the square becomes infinitely more complicated when there's a number in front of the x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out that number. And remember, when you factor a number out, you're dividing. So this is 9x squared divided by 9, which just leaves me with x squared. This is 36x divided by 9, which is going to leave me with 4x. And then I'm still going to have that blank. And then here, I've got a 16 in front of y squared. So 16y squared divided by 16 is going to be just y squared. 64y divided by 16 is going to be 4y, and then I'm going to have that blank, equals negative 164. Now comes that process of completing the square. You may need to watch a video to refresh yourself on completing the square. So if in completing the square, you're going to take the number in front of x, divide it by 2, and then you're going to square it. So this would be 2 squared, which is 4. That means that I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Now, I'm adding 4 in parentheses with that 9 factored out, so I actually have to add 9 times 4 to the right-hand side to account for the fact that I'm doing that. Then I'm going to do the same thing here, but I've got a negative 4, which is going to result in a negative 2 squared, which is still going to give me 4. So I'm going to add 4 here, but now I have to add 16 times 4 because of that parentheses again. So when I get this all kind of written out, this is going to factor. Remember the factoring trick is to look at this number to x x plus 2 squared, and then I'm going to take the y, and notice how this is a plus. So when I'm looking at this term and this term, I'm adding them together, and that's because it's going to be an ellipse. So then remember, your hint here is to look at this number, and that's negative 2, so minus 2 squared, and then I've got to do the math and say, okay, what is negative 164? plus 9 times 4, plus 16 times 4. When I do all of that, I get 36. Now, I know it's an ellipse because I'm adding my terms together, but for an ellipse, it needs to equal 1. So the last step is to divide every term by 36. So when I cancel the 9 and the 36, that's going to give me x plus 2 squared over 4. And when I cancel the 16 and the 36, that's going to be y minus 2 squared over 9. And then it equals 1, and now I have the equation of my ellipse in standard form.